Hello, hello and hello hi to everyone out there watching us right now. InspireZone magazine as always uh, is bringing uh, the best in the business uh, to you guys and uh, we are going to interview a great personality today. You know the personality which I'm going to introduce you today needs no introduction actually uh, because uh, we will be having uh, a great great human being uh, and a great music composer from Turkey Mr. Turge with us. Uh, so Mr. Turge uh, is going to be with us and uh, let's go to the introduction guys because you know he's, he's doing so much work and he's knocking hearts and minds of millions uh, with just his music. Yes, he's a music composer and uh, we have seen him uh, here before as well. Uh, he has been very uh, vocal on Twitter as well and all the uh, social media uh, sites and he's doing great he's, uh, with his music, with his lyrics actually. And, uh, you know, he has recently done song for uh, uh, Kashmir, Palestine. Uh, he has written poems and he's being uh, doing so much. And uh, Mr. Turge, uh, hello. Assalamu alaikum. It's an honor for me to interview you today, sir. Yeah. Alaikum salam. I'm also happy to join. I hope I am audible, right? Yes, yes. You look great. And uh, thank you for your time. And, you know, it's an honor. Uh, such an international personality is with InspireZone magazine right now. Uh, recently, I was watching you live uh, in a telethon as well. You are doing a great amount of work for the flood effectees in Pakistan as well. You were in the live telethon with Mr. Imran Khan. Um, I, I was watching you there. So, you know, uh, you are doing great for Pakistan uh, as a brother, uh, as, a, as a Muslim brotherhood. You know, you are being uh, very uh, nice to us. And uh, today we are going to be having your singer as well with us. So your singer uh, um, Akram is going to be with us uh, soon. Uh, let's see when he joins. So last time you remember, you know, we were uh, talking about there was less of the music and singing. So today we are going to have, uh, you know, a package uh, in this interview. Mr. Durga, tell us what it takes a man to be, you know, uh, so kind and sensitive like you. Your music and your poetry uh, is so pure and spiritual. Uh, how did you reach here? Yeah, I mean, thank you for all these, you know, beautiful, kind words about me. I mean, just I'm, I'm an ordinary human being. And of course, Allah has given every human being, you know, a, a very big potential. And we have been endowed, of course, with, with feelings. And, and when, when you think about artists, yeah, maybe some, sometimes they could be a bit more, more sensitive. So it's not always a, a yes. beautiful place. Sometimes there is suffering. And sometimes, unfortunately, there is a lot of pain. And sadly, most of this pain I mean, usually happens, uh, you know, in Muslim lands, and uh, as a as a human being, as a Muslim, of course, I cannot show a party you know, to the suffering of our brothers and sisters, because uh, we are the same ummah. We follow the same prophet, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and once he said, you know, somebody, a Muslim, who spends one night without feeling the pain of their brothers and sisters, I mean, that person is not actually a, a part of our ummah. So, so it is our responsibility to put ourselves in the, in the skin of the other people, you know, who are not sometimes as lucky as we are because we are in our homes together with our families. But in some other parts of the world, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, there is a lot of suffering. And at this point, as a human being, we should ask ourselves to make, you know, any small difference, you know, for them or not. And if you cannot share the pain of your brother, so in that case, you know, you, you also lose your humanity. And it's not only, you know, for, for Muslim brothers and sisters. I mean, for us, the oppressed, you know, uh, cannot be asked about religion. Whether the oppressed is Hindu, whether the oppressed is Christian, whether the oppressed is atheist, if there is an oppressed, you know, it is, it is our duty to help the oppressed. And if there is somebody 
you know, getting exposed to a calamity, a natural calamity, or whether war or something else. So in that case, of course, uh, as a human being, you know, as a Muslim, we need to our best uh, for the betterment of, of those people. Wow, that's that's a great, uh, great message. Uh, 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 Mr. Thurge, uh, what it takes, you know, to be in such a position where you can, you know, uh, change lives and, you know, create awareness with your words. And you have been doing this uh, for the longest of time now. So when did you realize that this is what you have to do in, in your life? Uh, tell us about your aspirations. Uh, what motiv motivated you uh, to get uh, through music, lyrics and, you know, poems? Uh, what motivates you? Yeah. yeah, that's really a very good question. I mean, uh, for me, art mm. is a kind of refuge. It is a shelter. So first of all, even if nobody listens to me, still I would want to express my feelings in a poem or in a song. Yes. That, keep me, uh, that, that would keep me well. Why, you know, in the first place, uh, you know, literature, poetry, music has a healing side. And first of all, it heals, you know, the, the producer, it heals the one, the one actually who seeks refuge, you know, in the, in, in the power of the verse. So, so that's why, you know, uh, it's not only you give something, but you also take something from, from art. On the other hand, of course, I believe that art has also an awakening role. Art has also a kind of liberating role. So I'm also trying to use that role so that, you know, the message, we are human beings. We are different from animals. We've got vocabulary. We've got speech. And birds are stronger than guns. Birds are stronger than weapons. So that's why we are, we yeah. are, we are trying to use, you know, these verse as a messenger, you know, to reach the hearts mm -hmm. of people. And, you know, when you manage to penetrate into a heart of a human being, because a human being is a kind of small, small universe. So, I mean, you cannot change, you know, that function with, with, with anything else. So, yeah. I mean, that, that's another, another thing for, for artists and what I try to, to do, I also try to communicate, you know, with the, with the other people when your song reaches, you know, even if it's, it's, it has reached one person, you know, uh, still I, I would feel very happy because for us it's not numbers, but it is somebody who understood your message. Otherwise, sometimes, you know, the people also ask me like, okay, you're right songs about what can songs change, you know, whether songs can make any difference or not. I believe that songs can can make a difference, but not over the night, but maybe in the long run, all these artistic activities, you know, are going to serve a, a purpose. And for that, unfortunately, as Muslims, we are kind of weak. You know, we are not good at expressing our own pain. Although we are suffering, even we don't have some sort of power. You know, just yes. the people hear our work. So you see, there's, there's another thing. So that there needs to be more people, you know, working in this field as well. Yes. Sorry to cut you, Mr. Thurge. Uh, your lead singer, uh, M. Ikram, has joined us. Ikram, uh, thank you for your time. And, you know, uh, there's a lot, there's a... This, this, is, this session is very special because it's going to be really good for the viewers right now because they want to listen songs. Uh, they want to listen to us talk as well, obviously. But now uh, we have this opportunity uh, of having Mr. Torge, who's the music composer, who's the lyricist, and his singer Akram with us as well. Um, uh, we were talking with Mr. Torge and uh, for everyone who have joined us late, uh, let me tell you, we have... Uh, a great personality, Mr. Thurge is with us today. You know, he's been doing uh, lots of work for uh, Kashmiri brothers, Palestinian brothers, and for flood affectees in Pakistan. He belongs to Turkey. He's an international celebrity now. You know, he has been uh, traveling a lot, uh, uh, 
uh, to Pakistan and different uh, countries as well and doing really nice work for uh, the people out there, for the Muslims out there. And he stands for the brotherhood of the Muslim community and uh, overall uh, humanity as well. Mr. Uh, uh, Turge, if you, if you allow me, uh, Ikram is also with us today. Uh, we'll be asking you about the pipeline projects which you are going to be doing. And I know a few of them, uh, the Flood Effecti uh, song as well. Uh, first of all, Ikram, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us. How do you feel uh, to be a part of Mr. Turge and his music? Thank you. Thank you, first of all, for all of you to invite me in this, to this interview. Assalamu alaikum. And um, of course, I mean, Turgay Bey, <laughs> to my brother Turgay, he is uh, mm. a really great person with a really great heart um, for the whole community, for the Muslim community well, he has. And um, I am really honored to, to work with him in these projects. Uh, like what we have done in the past and also what we are, will do, inshallah, in the future. I'm really honored. Wow, great. Ekram, you have, been, uh, you have given your voice to these beautiful uh, lines from Mr. Torge. Uh, can you just, you know, sing a few for us, especially uh, the song for our Kashmiri brothers? I am Kashmir. You know, it's been viral all, all over the internet. You know, the soulful voice, the lyrics is so passionate. And, you know, your voice is so soulful. Mm. A few lines Thank for you. the viewers watching us. Of course, inshallah. Young men are in jails. Massacre prevails. Imagination fails. Mother's tears always rain. I am Kashmir. I stand tall. I'm Kashmir. I never fall, I am Kashmir, I stand tall, I'm Kashmir, I never fall. Oh, that's wow, wow. that's thing. great. So it, it, it is going to be a little concert today, it's just a big name. Everyone okay. out there watching us right now, uh, it is going to be a little concert today. Uh, Mr. Turge, uh, let me just uh, first of all tell that uh, you have one more singer as well, uh, Mehru. Uh, you know, uh, she couldn't join us. We would have, you know, uh, loved uh, uh, all your uh, band, the music composing, uh, the lyricists, the singers, everyone uh, could have been with us. But today we have uh, Ikram. So next time, Mehru is also be going to, uh, to be with us. Uh, thank you. Special thanks to uh, Ikram because you have joined us from Switzerland. And, uh, you know, we, we had to match uh, different time zones. Uh, Mr. Turge is in Turkey. I'm in Pakistan. You're in Switzerland. So let's, let's see uh, when Mehru uh, also can join us soon. Um, uh, Mr. Turge, tell us uh, what's in the pipeline these days. I know you are doing a lot of work for the Pakistani uh, brothers and sisters. Tell us about the flood effects and your new songs or your new projects. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank Brother Akram also joining for, for this program. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, emotional for me to see him, you know, uh, together in our program. I have worked with, you know, several singers so far, but Ekrem is always special for me because the way, you know, he puts his feelings to the songs, you know, so when, when you listen to him, you really feel the pain, you know, in his voice. So Ekrem is like, you know, the voice of my feelings, you know. So his voice is, you know, kind of tool for uh, exp expressing, you know, the verse that, the lyrics that I have written. So I'm really, you know, happy to, to see him. And w when it comes to our new pro project, Pakistan is not in vain. So first of all, you know, where, where does the title come from? I mean, normally it's not that easy to understand the title. You know, when we say Pakistan is not in vain, it's like, what, what is the message? I mean, just I know that Muhammad Ali Jinnah and great poet Muhammad Iqbal, you know, when they, are, when they founded Pakistan, they had a vision, right? I mean, they had a purpose and they wanted Pakistan to flourish, that's why Pakistan separated from India. 
But unfortunately, sometimes, you know, the things do not go as projected. And I hope that in the future, you know, again, Pakistan is going to catch its own essence. So those days, Pakistan is struggling with a very big, you know, flash, which, which covered one third of Pakistan. And I heard that like almost one million people, maybe over than that, have lost, you know, their, their homes. And now they are living in really difficult conditions and the winter is approaching. So, I yes. mean, as an artist, we make a song which would trigger an international aid campaign. And hopefully we're mm. going to release song on 27 October. The song is really very powerful. We have collaborated, you know, uh, with, with uh, I mean, Ek Ekrem and Mehru, Ekrem from Switzerland, Mehru from New Jersey, America. So they gave the, their voices, not, not only their voices, but they lent their hearts, you know, to, to this song. And uh, I believe that, you know, uh, uh, the entire Pakistan, not only the entire Pakistan, maybe, uh, you know, all the people listening to this song won't be able to control, you know, their, their tears and uh, they're going to feel, you know, the pain of the flood effects, flood victims. And hopefully, you know, all the income of this song is going to, you know, go to flood victims. And we also, we're going to push some eight organizations at the end of the song clip so that, you know, the people can also donate. You know, in Turkey, there are some Turkish aid organizations like Kızılay, and we've got like Ihaha. So we are, we are giving, you know, also kind of posters so that the people can contribute, the people can donate. And I hope that, you know, we, we're, going to be, uh, we're going to be able to mobilize the people. I know that the people are already so, helping a lot. Yeah, but I hope at least they're going to keep, uh, you know, donating because the situation is really very bad and we need to do our best before it is too late because I'm afraid that we can, we can lose, you know, many people when the winter comes. Yes, the winters are going to be, um, God forbid, uh, it's going to be devastating uh, for the flood effect. You're exactly right, Mr. Turkey, and this is, um, this happens when, you know, we have good brains who can uh, see uh, far and, you know, far enough to know what's going to be in the future. You know, the vision uh, like Mr. Turge has, you know, you know everything, uh, how it is going to unfold. And yes, you're correct. Um, Ekram is with us and uh, I know you are going to launch this song soon, uh, but Pakistan is not in vain. Uh, you have also sang this, Ekram. Can you give us a few lines if... Uh, Mr. Turge allows, you know, just as a teaser, you know, just as a launching Inspire Zone magazine uh, page in this Instagram uh, viewers watching us right now. I was playing in the garden. Mom's cooking in the kitchen. The dark clouds gathering. The rain would turn into tears soon. Just a little part. The rest is surprise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Just, uh, it is to be launched very soon. But Ekram, how does it feel? How does it feel? You know, uh, people sing different songs, different lyrics, some love songs, some, you know, romantic songs and everything. You, I know as a singer, how does it feel to, uh, you know, does this soulful lines, uh, the special lines, uh, you know, where you need to make awareness, uh, you need to feel that emotions within yourself uh, to, you know, get that message across uh, to the listeners. How does it feel? For me, especially um, how I feel when I sing these kind of lyrics, as you said, there are many singers around the world. They are singing different kind of types of lyrics, really mm -hmm. goes uh, into everything. And actually, as I was 14 years old, I began to make music and I began to sing. And in that, even in, in that age, I always had the vision, like sing once for humanity, 
do something with my music for humanity. And it was always a, but always a vision until Brother Turgay came into my life and changed everything. And because, you know, you can sing many songs, but not all songs will remain in your mind, in your ears. They will not stay, they will be forgotten. But these kind of songs, especially how Turgay, Brother Turgay is writing them and really telling the stories, but then it, it, it's fascinating me so much. And just because of that, because of this fascination, I can put my um, emotions into it. And mostly in, when I sit in the studio, um, if I look at the lyrics and if I have the song right now and I'm listening to it, listening to it, mostly I go into YouTube, first of all. I just mm. look what's the story behind, just quick, not big, but just quick and, and look at these pictures because pictures can tell us so much as well, words as well, and pictures yeah. as well. Um, and especially YouTube, I mean, everyone is on YouTube and they are looking so many different videos. And um, I watch, I opened as well um, videos from Pakistan, from the flute. Now uh, what is happening? And with the lyrics, with these, with the song, with the instrumental song, it catched me right on the spot. And, and then I can feel much more. I can feel much more. Yes. I see the lyrics. I see it visual in front of mm. me. And it really, my tears came so many times in the last yeah. few years. We made these projects. And I mean, also now with Pakistan, it's, it's unbelievable. But this is the way I am working and how I, I can put my emotions in, in, in these songs or put my emotions around these lyrics. And this is, yeah, it's really an honor to me because Turga Evren, like my brother Turga, he, he, he made a dream come true since like I had with 14 years old. Yeah. Wow, wow. You know, as a, as a listener, uh, I would say, you know, the thing you're talking about is, you know, I can connect this in my heart because, you know, whenever I listen to Turge's songs uh, in your voice or in different singers, you know, it has that emotions that, that can, you know, drive you. Um, uh, and, you know, with this, I, I take this question to Mr. Turge Evren. Uh, you are such an international personality now and you're internationalizing the Kashmir issue, the Palestine issue, you know, which are, which are being forgotten. You have written a great poem for uh, Kashmir as well. How does it feel that, you know, the atrocities happening in this part of the world uh, are being, you know, people are getting aware uh, through your lyrics and through your compositions? How does it feel? Yeah, of course, you know, uh, you can never describe that, that feeling because I get a lot of messages, especially from the young people living in India and occupied Kashmir. And, you know, when they are sending their things, because I'm, uh, when we brought the songs about Kashmir, like I am Kashmir, Kashmir is my name. So I think they have been, you know, international success and like so many people have heard also about the suffering of Kashmir. And of course, for Kashmiri people, they, they don't feel lonely. They know that there, there are some people caring for them. There are some people praying for them. And this is such a big strength. So in the same way for Palestine, you know, we have uh, written a song, you know, for Jerusalem. So uh, don't, don't cry, uh, Jerusalem. And that song has also reached so many. Palestinian people, and even like I think four years ago, four or five years ago, President Erdogan had a very big rally. Almost I think 500,000 people have joined it, and uh, you know Mahir Zain also came to sing as in that time. They also played you know our song as well, and uh, with Ekrem actually the first time we came together for a song dedicated to Syrian refugee kids. I mean, it was our first song, Today I Will Not Die. And that song, mm -hmm. you know, had President, President Erdogan, and President Erdogan also invited me and Ekrem, you know, to, yeah. to, to Presidential Palace, you know, in Turkish we say Kulie. And, uh, you know, when I wrote that song, actually, 
I, I didn't know whether I can find a singer because that time I was not a part of music, just I made some English songs for, for teaching English. And interestingly, you know, if you want to help the people, Allah helps you. Because I had like one friend in my office and then, uh, I mean, his name is Mustafa. When I was talking to him, he said, he just told me that actually I've got a cousin, you know, who lives in New Zealand and he's also making music. Then when he sent me some videos of Ekrem, I started listening to his voice and I said, oh my God, you know, really a mm -hmm. very powerful voice. And then I can hear Ekrem and our adventure started like with that song. And that song was also very powerful today. I will not die. I mean, in the song, we put ourselves instead of a Syrian, you know, in the shoes of a Syrian refugee kid living in, in Turkey. And we, we try to express the feeling to the world. And President Erdogan loved that song. He shared the song with the world leaders as well. World leaders came to Turkey and world children. So he really... Uh, you know, when he, when President Erdogan listened to the song, I heard that he also became very emotional, you know, so, uh, yeah. so it was our first song, then we kept going, you know. Great, great. And, you know, keep going, keep going for humanity, Mr. Turgay Abrin. And, you know, you have done so much for the uh, human beings out there who are suffering uh, from different disasters, from uh, different atrocities. It's a great thing you are doing right now. Uh, recently, uh, in Pakistan, you also got famous Ikram. Uh, I will get back to you on this. Uh, it has to deal with uh, to uh, one of the greatest personality in Pakistan right now. Um, Mr. Turge, one great man supports another great man. Uh, your love and admiration for Imran Khan, you know, it's pretty well, uh, you know, prevalent. Uh, so uh, a few lines from absolutely not. We'll be listening from Ikram. You know, you took the Pakistani nation uh, with Strom. And, you know, Ikram, uh, your voice and Mr. Turge, uh, your lyrics were very famous. Tell us first, uh, uh, Mr. Turge, how, does, how did this happen? Absolutely not. I mean, to be honest, uh, the way Imran Khan was also, you know, made me a little... For us, we've got a great love for Pakistan, but just we, I thought that the election should determine, you know, who's going to be in the office and... On the other hand, I know that Imran Khan is also very concerned about humanitarian issues as well, Kashmir, Palestine. So yep. he was President Erdogan in some ways the way he talks. And of course, when he was hostage, I mean, in Turkey, actually many people became, became upset and just I wanted to express that I'm, my, my feelings. And I know that they also used the song in the rallies of Imran Khan and hundreds of thousands of people have listened to. I mean, even yep. they tell me in some schools that they also play the song with the students. So I know in Pakistan, it, it went it went viral. And uh, yep. he also sent me, you know, his, his thanks for, 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 for this song as well. He already played the song on his Facebook and it has reached, you know, millions of people so, so far. So... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the story behind. Wow. So the song became famous in uh, Pakistan. The, the, the stage is yours. And hopefully the clips from this interview are going to be viral as well. Uh, so the stage is yours. Absolutely yeah, not. Thank you. <clears throat> Stand up for dignity. Break shackles of slavery, rise up for rising Pakistan, walk with Imran Khan. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. Wow, that's great. Thank that's very know. nice. Uh, so before singing the song, um, absolutely not. Um, did you, uh, you know, knew about things, what's happening in Pakistan? Mr. Turge explained to you because... Literally, this song, as Mr. Turge was saying uh, just 
just a few minutes uh, before uh, it is viral in the public gatherings it is viral on social media because you know imran khan is so popular and you know you must be getting some really nice fa- fans from pakistan ikram although you have so many fans out there in the world but you know specifically from pakistan after this song inshallah i'm i was really surprised as um, as tour guy brother tour guy sent me sent me a few things about a little Uh, little boy who is a really big fan of mine and he was watching on this video just right uh, on the yeah, tv yeah. um like the clip and um i w- i mean it's it's an unbelievable feeling to 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 um, hear something like that because we are here we are in the studio but we don't know nothing about you know and if there comes a message like this it it just blew me away i mean just the feeling is different because as i said before there are many songs out but if you do something for humanity if you have you don't need to be a politician or you don't need to be anything like that you just have to have heart on the right spot for and 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 that's all you need to have for um for understanding the situations of the people and for the muslims especially uh you my brothers and sisters and because of that this is also the reason why i put my efforts and everything into that with turgay um i mean for me nothing better could could have come true um than this it's unbelievable feeling of course uh, to hear also from you that there are a lot of uh, fans out there also in pakistan and i'm really happy i sent my greetings to them may all love bless them may all uh, protect them from everything and inshallah mean, everything will come come good um inshallah inshallah they, they should not lose their hope and that's everything yeah inshallah inshallah we we won't lose hope um for for people who have joined us late um let me introduce you guys before uh, you know i I've, i've done it already but you know uh, for the people who are you know keep joining us now mr turge abrin uh, he's a music composer and intellectual uh, a lyricist uh, he have uh, done so much uh, philanthropic work and with his uh, words with his lyrics with his music he's changing minds and souls and he's creating awareness uh, throughout the world and uh, with him we have mr akram who is the lead singer he's a famous singer and he's been singing songs a uh, very soulful voice very beautiful voice and you know the way you talk uh, it it shows that you you have a heart of a singer uh, because you have that emotions going right now with us and uh, uh, later on in this uh, interview when we end it we are going to have a special thing from ekram uh, but before that uh, mr uh, turge you are loved and respected not only uh, you know in the whole world but in pakistan especially you have created a Uh, you know a uh, space in the hearts and minds of the pakistanis uh, what message would you give to the pakistani nation right now i mean for pakistan brother and so i can say you know never lose your hope i mean today i know that uh, the really kind of dark dark cloud dark uh, clouds you know are kind of showering upon the people so but i mean all these are are going to be the past soon and i hope that you know the things are are going to get better and of course for that you know it is always important to be to be peaceful and not to break you know the brotherhood that we have because for us you know pakistan uh, is really an important country you know almost 220 million muslims are living there and i hope that pakistan is going to you know rise because i i see pakistani brothers and sisters all over the world you know in america in canada in the US. there are so many success stories and i believe that pakistan can be also a very successful country and in the past pakistan has already shown that so pakistan you know is our pride it is it is a nuclear nuclear country but on the other hand i, I believe that you know the things are are going to settle down so never lose your patience and your hope and you know better days are going to keep 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 coming so for for that you know we really work hard and we need to collaborate um, 
between Turkey and Pakistan, there is a great love, but there is not enough collaboration. So we need to have collaboration yeah. not only governmental level, but also in arts, literature, music, you know, in the other dimensions. Mm -hmm. Also, we need to come People together. We need to come to each other's background because we say we are brothers, but saying brothers, you know, is not enough. So we should reinforce our brotherhood with some actions. Yeah. With that, you know, with that, uh, the word you use, collaboration. Do you have any plans to collaborate? You know, uh, you were telling me about, I was actually reading uh, how Mr. Uh, Erdogan, you know, he loved uh, the song and the compositions you make. And uh, do you have any plans to collaborate with the uh, singers here or maybe making a video here? You know, something in Pakistan and Turkey friendship. Uh, what's your plan, Mr. Turkey? And Ikram is going to sing that song. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I, I think you're talking about your uh, kind of future plans, right? So in the future, yeah. I mean, in the future, I hope that we're going to keep, you know, collaborating with with some singers. And I mean, my actually my dream for the future is to go be beyond the music and to also shoot a special film about Kashmir, but for that, of yeah. course, you need a lot of funds. I mean, just in Turkey, I have been in touch with some directors uh, as well. So I, I want to, you know, tell the story of Kashmir through either, you know, a very good documentary or maybe a film for, for the future. And uh, of course, these are some dreams and you never know whether dreams come true or not. Everything starts with dream, like with Ekrem. You know, the first time we, when we came together, we had just one dream. And, you know, we were kind of surprised because our first song <laughs> has reached so many yeah. people. It has reached not only Erdogan, but also, with, uh, you know, it has reached to, the, to some world leaders. So it was really mm -hmm. interesting. And when we came together, I mean, just, you know, uh, we had nothing but feelings and some words and music. And then we, we managed to do, to, do, to do something, alhamdulillah. So, I, and for the future, you know, uh, so inshallah in the future, I, I, I hope Ekrem is going to, because Ekrem's voice is very popular. Many people have listened to songs of Ekrem, but Ekrem, now he's a bit behind behind the curtain and in the future i hope that uh, you know more people are going to learn about ekrem because ekrem is really a great personality and i believe yeah. that you know, he deserves to be really in a, in a very good he's a very humble person but yeah in the future, in the future the people are going to understand ekrem better you know they're going to they they, they, they they're going to learn about about ekrem and inshallah, we're going to see those days as well. Wow, that's great. Together, brother. Ikram, Ikram, you are a treat. You, you were a treat. You are a treat uh, in this interview. You know, you, you did a little concert for us. It's a special request from Inspirezone magazine uh, to Ikram. Ikram, you know mashups, right? So how about, you know, just quickly doing I'm Kashmir, uh, you know, and uh, absolutely not. Uh, Pakistan is not in vain and you know different songs quickly if you can just merge them and give us something really special I will try I mean I, I have here the songs like the lyrics as well and I can read them uh, or sing them of course but inshallah I will do my best <clears throat> I'm just trying to fix, fix the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And give it a... Young men are in jails, massacre freeways, imagination fades, mother steals always rain. Stand up for dignity. Break shackles of slavery, rise up for rising Pakistan, walk with Imran Khan, 
That's, I guess, that's it. What I can do. Thank that's you. Great. <laughs> for the that's fast, great. That's yeah. great. For the quick way. That that is great. You know, you know, it it, it was a treat having both of you together, and you know, uh, really enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed the song, the intellectual thoughts of Mr. Thorge, and you know, your soulful voice. It's a great, it's a deadly combination. By the way, whatever you are going to do, you are going to be successful uh, in future as well. And so far, it's 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 a great uh, uh, you know display of a uh, perfection of music composing, uh, the voice, the quality, and everything. You know, the last but not the least, uh, from both of you. First, I'll uh, go with Mr. Thurge. Uh, Mr. Thurge, your uh, your last thoughts, your lines, uh, before we call it off. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to thank you for bringing me together with, uh, you know, my brother Ekrem as well. Actually, I I miss him a lot. So we are, we are collaborating, but sometimes just we live in different countries, and you know, even we we can't see each other. So uh, I know that last year he came to Istanbul, but again, you know, we could have come come together, you know, to drink something and to 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 talk bush, you know, with each other progress. I know that now uh, Ekrem is also a father, and he has uh, uh, he got as far as I know two children. <laughs> Ekrem, is it true? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Great congratulations from Inspire Zone Mac. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you. Ekrem is uh, married uh, with Abla uh, from Morocco, so uh, oh. yeah, send our greetings to to her as well. So, Thank my you. wife, <laughs> great. I mean, what what say? So, inshallah, we're going to keep, you know, doing something, uh, you know, together with Brother Ekrem, and I hope in the future, you know, we can we can also have we can arrange some live concerts as well because there are like millions of Pakistani brothers and sisters in the UK, in, you know, mm-hmm. in America also, you know. The hundreds of thousands of Kashmiri brothers in in many different countries, you know, the Middle East, and hopefully in the future, you know, uh, you know, if Ekrem's schedule also fits, maybe they're going to have the chance to listen to Ekrem live as well. So I'm looking for forward to this kind of occasions as well. So, uh, I mean, uh, may Allah help uh, Pakistan and Turkey. And may Allah help, you know, all uh, Muslim, Muslim countries, all, all mankind, because in our holy book, you know, Allah always addresses mankind. So even he does not only address Muslims as well, so nas, you know, like mankind. So, so that's why, Man. yeah, so that's why uh, we shouldn't lose our humanity. And, you know, all these songs, poetry are kind of, uh, ways to refresh our humanity as well so it makes a connection with our own essence and as long as you have a connection with your own essence you know you're not going to be a stranger with yourself so so that's why you know i hope that the world is going to be a better place for women for children for elderly people and i hope that you know if we can make a tiny contribution to this so that's the that's the biggest, you know, happiness for us. So, I mean, that's, that's all I can say. Mashallah, mashallah. What, what great thoughts, mashallah. Over to you, Mr. Ekram, your last uh, yeah, few lines. From my side, I mean, uh, really, first of all, shout out to uh, Inspire Zone magazine uh, for this interview, for giving us the opportunity as well for me and my brother, Turgai, to first of all meet each other here, like direct life, uh, mm. and and also to to give some kind of um, inspirations of us uh, for the Pakistani people for what, like what we what we have done uh, until now and will do in the future. That you and thank you also, Turgai, uh, brother Turgai, for everything you did, everything you you put in in into this. Uh, these um, projects 
which is really heart filling for me and as well for many many other people out there and especially now for the Pakistani people and I hope I hope really uh, that we reach a lot of um, how do you say for the flu campaign that that we can help many people in Pakistan with that and um, really I'm I'm happy to be here I'm glad to to be part of it part of everything and uh, yeah Really, God bless you all. That's God bless you too, Mr. Ekram, Mr. Burke. It was a great sitting. Uh, I tell you, it's an honor uh, for Inspire Zone magazine to have uh, both of you together with us. And you know, it's been a joy ride at this interview because the music, you know, uh, the, uh, the songs which we played today is what the viewers are actually looking for and for our thoughts as well. Mr. Turge, uh, Evren, Mr. Ikram, both of you in Zone Magazine, thanks you with the bottom of uh, my heart. You know, thank you so much. And uh, it's a thank real too. honor to interview you guys today. Thank you too. Thank you too. Thank you. Thanks, Inspire Zone Magazine, and for inviting us. Thank you so much. Thanks.